Well, new information tonight on plans to build a bridge to replace the aging I-55 bridge connecting Tennessee and Arkansas over the Mississippi River. Thanks for joining us. I'm Richard Ransom. Tonight, we're getting more insight on how such an expensive project will be paid for and when it might be finished. Stephen Pimpo is here in the studio to share what he's learned tonight. Stephen. Richard, this new bridge will cost the state of Tennessee about $250 million. That's how much is budgeted in the new 10 year project plan released today by TDOT. Others I spoke with say this is a major opportunity, not just for Tennessee and Arkansas, but anyone relying on commerce going across the Mississippi River. Move across that I-55 bridge earlier today, and it just was a stark reminder of the need for replacing that bridge. Bobby White with the Greater Memphis Chamber says there has been a need for added capacity over the Mississippi River for over 20 years. He says the I-55 bridge is a good place to start. You have some thinner lanes. You don't have much wiggle room for traffic. If there is a shutdown of one lane, you're going to have a major problem. White says he supports the collaborative initiative between the Tennessee and Arkansas Departments of Transportation to reconstruct the I-55 bridge. Nicole Lawrence from TDOT revealed that both departments are pinning their hopes on a joint application to the U.S. Federal Highways Administration, aiming to secure funding for half of the ambitious project. Lawrence estimates the total cost to be close to $1 billion. And then the remaining half would be split between Arkansas and Tennessee. That's where our $250 million uh, comes into play. That $250 million comes out of the $3 billion from Governor Bill Lee's Transportation Modernization Act. TDOT says the new bridge will fit more cars to improve traffic flow, with RDOT pushing for at least six lanes. Construction on the new bridge is currently set to start in 2026. In addition to the grant, Lawrence says the next step is getting approval on the environmental impact study for construction. Richard.